Yeah, hi there, and uh, welcome back. And today we are going to learn about the asynchronous programming. And let's go and see what is uh, asynchronous programming. It is a means of a parallel programming in which a unit of works run in a separate from your main application thread and notifies the calling thread of its completion or failure or progress. You may be wondering when you should use asynchronous programming and what are its benefits. The main benefit one can gain from our asynchronous programming are improved application performance and responsiveness. One particular well-suited application for the asynchronous pattern is providing a responsive UI in your Android application while running a computational or resource-expensive operation in a background. So if you have been programming in Android and you should be familiar with a main thread or a UI thread. So everything in Android does in a UI or a main thread. So basically it's a single threaded. But if you want to perform a multiple tasks at the same time, then we should be using a asynchronous programming. So it will greatly improve our application performance and basically the responsiveness of your application will be greatly improved. So here is a small code. Let's say we have this onCreate over here, which is calling a two function, which is on successful dialog and another one is an error dialog. So if you see over here, it says that un unsuccessful dialog at the first line. And second, we can see an error dialog. So when you say a synchronous programming, synchronous programming means it will call uh, by one by one. So first it will go and call the unsuccessful dialog and it will go and call this function and it will run all of the code block over here, whatever is inside this function, it will go and execute and it will come back. And then it will go and run the error dialog and it will go and complete all of the tasks that is in this particular function. And after this finish, it will return back over here and continues the flow. So the execution is by line by line. So let's say if you want to perform a multiple tasks over here. So let's say we want to do a asynchronous programming. So we can call these two functions at the same time and do it on task. And let's say I want to call this unsuccessful and this function, which is an error dialog at the same time. So I can make use of asynchronous programming over here and call these two functions at the same time and do, do the two tasks at the same time. So that is possible with the asynchronous programming. Otherwise, we have to make use of a synchronous over here, which means that after the unsuccessful dialog function completes, then only it will go for a error dialog. So the execution is by step by step. So on our upcoming lecture, we will go and see about how to perform all of this asynchronous programming and we'll be making use of the Kotlin. So let's meet up in our next lecture and we'll see about the Kotlin. Till then, have a great day.